Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm here with Cecilia. We're back at the antique store. We sold some stuff, uh, which is great. Um, so we're here at the depot. We sold some really good stuff. I'll show you guys really quick. Um, we're almost around the corner. If you guys want to come check it out, it's downstairs, uh, booth 18. So it's right here. So let me turn the camera for you guys really quick. All right, so here we are. So we sold some He-Man figures, which is good. I'm gonna have to bring more He-Man stuff, honestly. Uh, which is great. Um, no Star Wars yet, which is it's all right. Um, for some reason, I guess they don't sell here at this location. She sold some stuff, which is good. Oh, what was in the back there? By the uh, more cassettes. A couple of them sold. Oh, so we saw a couple of cassettes. None of the really expensive shirts have sold yet, which is okay. But we sold six shirts. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So. Six vintage shirts I sold, which is I'm sure that's what it was. Um, we have jackets, all kinds of shirts. So like when I tell you guys vintage, we have like you know that vintage Godzilla from 2000, Gibson. Just a lot of like random stuff. Hopefully nothing's on the floor that's that maybe fell, but no, I don't think so. Cool. And then my loafers are just I don't know what. We sold some VHS, which is good, like a lot of the old horror movies. We sold a few. We sold some plushes for sure. Something up here, I'm sure. You just gotta look through the photos. That's why I always take photos, just so I remember what we sold. And, uh, what happened? <laughs> that isn't even ours, so yeah, that's true. Oh, From another booth. Um, we got some of that stuff there. I wish I have good movies. I try to put out, like, really good horror movies for people. Uh, like, I don't make much on the movies, honestly, but I press them so that, uh, you know, you can buy them. Honestly, and then we have, of course, finals. We sold some DVDs. This shouldn't be up there. The Adam's Family's book should be on this side. And yeah, all right. So I guess we have to fill up a booth again with a few things. Not too much. Just five more, six more shirts. I'm gonna put up today. We sold some vintage hats, which is cool. Oh, not modern hats. Like these kind of old-looking hats. We sold two. It looks like we sold two. Oh, we sold the the horror uh, playset. Oh shit. Yeah, so we had like a vintage uh, board, um, board game. I don't know if you guys remember, I picked it up at the flea market for 35 or 30 We sold it for $100. I think it was like 120 I want to say. So that's freaking sick. That makes up for the whole booth for sure. So yeah, awesome, man. It's going really well. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. We're going to go to the other ones and check them out as well. All right, guys, more than we that's expected. So this is all... Yeah, I think the ones that are shirts are from this week too. Yeah, I think you mixed them in it's there. Messy. Oh. So is we sold a lot, guys, this past week, like a lot, which is great. Ooh, it's gonna be a good month, I wanna say. Oh, a lot of our shirts sold, plushes, shirts, robots. More of the horror stuff sold too. So I have to pick up more horror stuff. I'm gonna have that Freddy Cougar. Ah. What are you separating? DVDs, oh, okay. plushes, games, toys, my stuff over here. So toys over here? Yeah. Gizmo shirt. Oh no, it's okay. That's perfect. Thank you. That helps out. We keep to keep track of what sells, and we can buy that stuff again. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> uh, shirt. Uh, new box. Mickey. This is a toy. Pee Wee Herman toy. I wouldn't know where to put the poster at. Snow White, this is yours. Globe, Bambi plate, that's you. Godzilla Kid Robot plush, that's you. Yeah. Pikachu plush, that's me, toy. Animation lunchbox, that's toy. Vintage Robot, mm. VHS, DVD. And then your purse. Cool. Awesome. Way better than I expected, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? So we just put video games last week. We sold both Game Boys, which is good. And a Game Boy game in the back. Um, I did sold the N64 that was here uh, when I came. 
So I put the Genesis out. Um, but we did put up some new toys. Nothing new sold. I think this guy sold for sure. Oh, actually, two of them sold. One, two. Uh, we sold Rob from the Nintendo that sold. I think that's about it. Um, I do have some Pee Wee Hermes in there, but haven't sold yet. So, with time, with time. Uh, yeah, this is where my new booth is going to be at since the city is at the other side. So, I have all the tickets here. I'm going to have to add it all up. Hopefully, um, it makes for the rent and I hope I make some money because this is where I'm supposed to make at least some good money so that's why I put a lot of video game stuff so that I can you know pay for the rent here and then the rest of the stuff would be just profit um because you know video games I get there for so cheap so I mean I get the stuff all cheap so but you know it, it adds up really quick if it stuff starts to move so I'm going to put up both Game Boys here for this week hopefully they sell um I brought them with me so I'll do that and then uh, let's go check out Cecilia's booth um, next door. Where you at, babes? Where you at? She's probably over here somewhere hiding. A lot of Disney stuff here. What'd you find? That's pretty cool. This is the booth with five... Five bucks on anything, anything. Or five dollars or five for twenty. So you get so one free item if you buy four items here. It's crazy. I don't see anything cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I sold some tickets in the amount. Hopefully. Some Take a few tickets, not a lot of tickets. It's like, yeah. Um, but. Keep in mind, it's just the case. Hey, it's the case. It's just the case. Hopefully, I'll get a booth here. That's 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 the. The goal is to get a booth here and do clothes, collectibles, all kinds of cool stuff. That's the goal. You gonna go check the tags? I'm your personal cameraman. Yeah. Alright. Whoa. I always like coming on top and looking at people's booths from up here. Feels cool. Feels like I'm God. Like I can pick on you all right let's see no you're 22 babe I am. she thought she was 21 guys she thought she was trying to get away I'm here. Turning here let's go bring that over here lay it right here bring it down to the office fur beans all right fur dinosaur bean troll. dinosaur troll rainbow bright oh i sold the babysitter troll The Polly Pocket, another Furby, Care Bear, Care Bear is nice. Another Troll, another Troll, another Troll, more Care Bears. Your VHS? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's mine. You owe me four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minus fees. It's like. Godzilla, Furby. I took out all my stuff and I get some stuff sold. It's just hilarious. Oh yeah, that Polly Pocket thing fucking discounted for no reason. Yeah. So what they did here is um, they made a mistake here. They uh, discounted an item that wasn't supposed to be discounted. And they didn't even call me. And they didn't even call her. So anything that's over $50 they're supposed to call you and let you know that we gave a discount. But they didn't even call and they went ahead and did that for her. So I think a lot of these people, a lot of these employees here, what they do is... Uh, their friends. Their friends come over and they want to buy something for themselves. They give them an automatic discount without asking. And that stuff happens. So, yeah. yeah. So that happened to me a few times. And it's, it's still happening to you to this day. But at this point, it's like whatever. You know, mm -hmm. what, what can you do? I'm just going to start writing no discount on everything. Yeah. But it's annoying, you know, when they have so much stuff to do. Yeah. So. So, so one, two, three, four, five Furbies. That's pretty good. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, um, heads up. I took off all the vintage shirts. They're just not moving and they're taking up space. So, I'm just, I'm just going to sell those on eBay. They're going to sell easily. Um, I thought I just put it out here for people. Um, they're always looking for vintage clothes, but I guess they don't want to spend a lot of money. But, you know, they're worth a lot. So, um, I think I had... Uh, I don't even remember what I had. I remember I had an Iron Maiden, a Supreme shirt... Some other stuff, but 
Sublime and a guest shirt. That was 75 bucks, which is actually what I'm gonna keep because it's a very nice shirt. Um, but we put on new other we put we put other lower end vintage like 10, 15. Um, this stuff that sells actually easier because it's not too expensive compared to the stuff that we had down there. And since we have so many college students. Yeah, and then we have all these college students that might want to buy this stuff. So it always does really well. We sold six shirts, which is great. So we just put up six new actually sweaters because the winter is here already. So we put up this uh, nice vintage uh, Tommy Hiffler sweater. Put it for 20 It's a good price. Really clean. Nice jacket. Um, the other ones are just regular sweaters. So, But like cool sweaters so yep there you guys go and then Cecilia I think me and Cecilia are going to share this bottom one um, and I'm sure she's going to want to put some girl toys I'm going to put some guy toys on that side just to get some extra sales because uh, yeah because that would probably sell better than the shirts that we had down there for sure and I did get these shoes too I've got them for like super cheap I think it was like 30 bucks they were really clean Dr. Martin ones um, Oxblood 75 i think it's really fair because compared to like on store they're like about 120 140 um and they're barely worn i think the guy said he only uh his daughter wore them twice and she didn't like them so if they don't sell within this next month i'm just gonna put them on ebay as well so yep and then uh yeah we're gonna put more stuff see how it goes all right guys so we put all these guys in here um put them at really good prices not, I mean, we can put more stuff, but I have a lot of stuff that I need to take to the other side. Um, we just drop this down, and I think that's it. Probably need some bigger plushies to put here. One more. I think I'm going to put... Yoshu, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. They're both pretty good there. <laughs> um, I might just bring this over here. Honestly. There we go. Kind of gives it some more space, I guess. Actually, maybe we should put E.T. over there, huh? Might look better over here than over there. He always keeps falling. He keeps falling. guys so they're about to close but I just uh, some of the same stuff here the only thing that I put up new was like the cat um, Freddy Cougar nothing up here same old stuff there ah damn I forgot to put some more of these guys oh, that's fine I'll leave them there I put up some new G1s and some GoBots Bumpy Red vehicle it's missing his uh, wheels but I put them for 5 bucks that was a steal price it usually goes for completely like 30 bucks but Without it, it kind of doesn't go for much. And then, uh, video game guys good. Game Boys have been selling really good here. So I just brought three more. One in box, and then two regular ones. So, um, Pee Wee Herman. I probably should have brought the little figures. I should have put them there. But they're about to close, so I've got to head out. And then, uh, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So, there you guys go. Doing good so far. What's up guys, so we just came back from the antique store This is what the stuff that we picked up in the afternoon at Kelly's Toy Store today uh, We put this stuff on hold because my wife was very interested And she got a lot of complete, in complete sets and some that are missing Just a little fig figurines here um, This was included, I think by mistake, maybe or was, does it come with it? It doesn't It doesn't come with it, so that was included, which is a plus um, So I gotta thank Sergio again for holding this stuff for my wife And of course, Sergio was selling some of his Street Sharks collection he had this in the box, Miko Shark. Um, now, Luz goes for like about 40 bucks, but this was complete in box with his little uh, little mask. I'll do a toy review on all the Street Sharks. Very stoked to have this to the collection. The one, only, the only one that I really, really want um, for the collection is, I don't think it's even here. It's the, um, like the monster truck from Street Sharks, but I want it in the box. I don't want it loose. I have it loose, but I got rid of it. Uh, but he has some really rare ones at the store. If you guys want to go check out the store soon, um, really, really cool. So I'm very stoked and very excited. So I thought I'd share that with you guys because this is very exciting. So there you guys go. Thought I'd share that with you guys. All right, guys. So I have a lot of stuff. I want to show you guys. This is just like inventory of stuff, you know, collectibles, toys, 
sealed things. Uh, that's all Star Wars. Um, so, um, just want to show you guys. You know, it's a lot of stuff to do. Like as a reseller, you get you get a lot of uh, of death piles. But it's for my for me personally, I don't just pick up just anything. I picked up really good stuff. I pick up really expensive collectibles, stuff like that. Um, so for me, it's a really good death pile. Uh, most of the stuff is going to go to the flea market in about two weeks, so it's great. Um, I tend to pay very cheap for this stuff, so I, I kind of remember the stuff that I usually pay for. I don't know why, but just for some reason I remember. Um, but for the event, uh, we have a lot of good stuff we're taking. Um, you know, I'll, and I'll hold on to it. That's the thing. Like, I'm a person where I'll, you know, I'll do some deals, stuff like that. This is all just like color, um, uh, N64s, PS1, PS2. You know, I'll hold on to this stuff, and if someone's, hey, uh, you want that, What's for, if it's for sale, I'm always trying to go to the, all the events, um, but sometimes I'm so busy that, you know, I don't get the chance to go to all of them, and it's just, like, piles of good stuff. Um, so, you know, uh, people always wonder, oh, you know, what do you, what do you do with all this stuff? Well, majority of the time, I try to move it. I put this stuff online if it's easy to sell online. If it doesn't sell online, then I'll usually just uh, hold it for an event, which I have three events this month. Um, today's uh, Retro Respect, next month is uh, Retro Madness, and then SoCal just announced uh, their event next month on the, tw I can't remember, it was the 27th, I want to say. <laughs> Don't recall, but it's next month, October. Um, so I bought three whole tables, um, so I have a lot of stuff to take, but mostly what I take is a lot of toys, a lot of collectibles, because uh, I have some really good stuff. Um, but of course I'm gonna take video games, I'm gonna take some games today, cause I know some people that wanna buy some stuff from me. Um, I have some stuff that I already sold that I have on hold for people. Um, I just gotta get it out. <laughs> I didn't think I had any more box Game Boys. Um, someone just messaged me, uh, yesterday. Called me, actually, and like, hey, do you have any Game Boys? And I was like, dude, I do, actually. So, I'm gonna work out a deal with all these boxed ones. Um, we'll see how it goes, cause I have a whole bunch. Like, no joke. Of consoles that actually work or um, need to be fixed. Um, this one just needs the speaker. I think it just needs the bag, honestly. Um, we have two Game Boy. I always pick up SPs, even if they're beat up. Um, I know some people that like to like love to change them out. This one's a little rough, but it works. So I think I put a new battery in these. Yeah. So I'll be worth it. And then I had a whole bunch of Pokemon games that need batteries, like. It's insane, but I have a friend that's gonna buy all that stuff for me. You know, he does all the Game Boy stuff because that's what sells from. It sells for me too. Don't get me wrong, but if they're not working without battery, I can't sell them just because um, I don't like selling like that. People need and they need to be fixed. So, um, you know, I like to sell my stuff to people at a really good um, price, at a really good condition, working fully, fully tested, everything, because I want my customers to be happy. Um, I don't want them to get any returns. I've seen it happen all the time at conventions. Um, it's happened to me twice. Um, I actually, you know, tested everything, but for some reason their system don't work at home or whatever reason. So I take them, I'll take, I'll take it back. I'll give them cash. I'll give them the, their money back. Um, I've never been one of those persons where I don't, you know, it, want all sales are final like that. I never do that. If someone changed their mind on a game, if it's an expensive game, I had a guy where at, um, Arizona where like, you know what? He, I think he spent like 300 bucks. He returned it back to me and I said, dude, that's totally fine. He said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I saw something else that I really wanted. I said, man, that's all good. At the end of the day, I ended up selling that game anyways. So, you know, be good to your customers because they're always going to re, you know, come back, buy from you. Same thing with my dealers, uh, same thing with my store shoppers. Um, you know, they always come back. They always support my business. So, you know, it supports me to do this full time. So, uh, you know, I'll always give them the deal. So I'm just telling you guys, you know, just some advice from me to you guys. So, all right, let me get this all get uh, ready and, we'll sh well, and I'll get footage for you guys, all transactions and everything. So you get to, get to see how I deal with my customers. Hey, what's up guys? So we have a lot of stuff. Wow. Very shocked that anything I had that much stuff. I thought I only had like a bin. Well, you guys can tell I have two bins, an extra bin, and uh, a whole bunch of boxed consoles. Um, complete in box. I'll take the trains that I pass by. Um, but yeah, pretty insane guys. Um, <clears throat> I thought nobody was gonna be going, but I think uh, David is going, but he's not gonna be selling. He's gonna be buying, which is great for him. Uh, my friend Eric, uh, one of the biggest collectors, is selling some of his stuff at the event. So my friend's gonna go out there and buy stuff from him. Um, really good stuff from him. I'm thinking. 
So, pretty cool. Um, am I gonna be there to be buying? Probably not. Um, unless I see some really good deals like on toys and or stuff that I don't have. I have a lot of toys. That's the thing. I have a lot of toys. Didn't think I had this much video game stuff, so I have a lot of video game stuff too. Um, so I'm so glad I'm gonna have a, a day to go sell at a flea market in two weeks because um, I honestly need it. Next week we're going to uh, Burbank early in the morning, so we're gonna go to the flea market, then drive over and take whatever's left over to that event, um, sell off the majority of it, and then a week after that, I mean two weeks after that, there's gonna be SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Um, well, not, it's not, I don't think it's an expo, it's a SoCal retro event, um, which is great, about three tables, but I'm, you know, I was mostly focused to get rid of a lot of the really good toys, um, so we'll see what happens, we, I honestly don't know, it's going to be the last event of the year for uh, Frankincense, um, Frankincense is moving to a new location, so I'm pretty stoked, I'm, uh, you know, this should be a great way to finish off the year for sure, so uh, Whatever else, still, like I said, whatever else do I still have, I'm gonna be selling it at the flea market on Saturday. So, very, very stoked. Um, I got a lot of stuff to get rid of, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. We'll see you guys at Retro Respect.